Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Boulevardier. So Fancy. excited your voice was changing there. <laughs> <No. sound like. laughs> this cocktail was created in 1927, mm -hmm. Harry's Bar in Paris, right on the heels of the Negroni. Right. Right? Because that's what it was copied from. Yeah. And it's the uh, same place that also uh, invented the sidecar. Yeah. Harry's Bar, well, they were, there were Harry's Bars all over. The Harry's Bar in Florence is where the Negroni is originated mm -hmm. and they said well let's just put bourbon in there instead of gin and we'll name it below boulevardier there you go it was named after a magazine mm -hmm. english language mag magazine published in paris by erskine erskine win kind of a sporting magazine the kind right. of like sporting culture talked about boxing mm -hmm. and how like what oil to use on your fencing foil stuff like that you know <laughs> Really practical thing is, I guess, I don't know. Right, right. But this is really a great cocktail. The original recipe called for one ounce of everything. Mm -hmm. One part bourbon, one part Capari, one part sweet vermouth. Right, and we love our bitter cocktails, but yeah. uh, we felt like we needed to add a little more of the, the bourbon to uh, to balance out with the Campari, yeah. the bitterness of that. Yeah. So. Um, because the Campari in too high of a dose will mask the deliciousness and the uh, flavors of the bourbon, mm -hmm. right? Right. So we can either cut back a little bit on the sweet vermouth and the Campari, or add more bourbon, right? I go with add uh, more bourbon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. That's why we're here together. We both think the same. <laughs> exactly. Now, this also is best with a higher proof bourbon, mm -hmm. if you have one, or cask strength. This is a cask strength one, this Weller. Nice bourbon. But use a higher proof bourbon, because that stands up best, I think, with these are the other two ingredients, mm -hmm. right? You want some oomph behind your bourbon. Exactly. All right. Yep. Let's begin. One and a half ounces bourbon. Mm -hmm. There we go. I called this cocktail the Boulevarder, of course. Like Boulevard. I'm sure everyone used to. What? <laughs> and then, That's how like, it's spelled. <laughs> and then, uh, like, some bartender, like, really talked down to me. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> of course, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. Not that I do now. Yeah. So. I haven't been back to that bar. <laughs> Understandably. Yeah. There you go. Boulevarder. Yeah, I think he knew what I meant. He was just being a jerk. <laughs> One ounce of sweet vermouth. We're using the Carpano Antica today. You need the feel superior to you. Yeah, whatever. That's not, that's not too hard to do. <laughs> All right. There we go. Then we're going to stir that with some ice. You want to really stir this because you want it nice and cold. Yes. Very cold. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll strain that into our glass here. I'm serving this in a coupe glass. You can pour it into an old-fashioned glass. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do just a little... Small orange twist. There you go. And drop it in. There you go. And there you have your Boulevardier. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Now, this oh. is one of those cocktails where we call it the uh, the golden minute. Yes. Because for whatever reason, if you let it sit for like a good 60 seconds, it seems to better bring all the flavor together. Yeah. And I don't so. know why that is. You think like we both took physics, we could figure it out right, or something, right. chemistry. But yeah, this is best to sit. let it sit for 60 seconds, and then somehow it just relaxes it, everything melts together, yep. and it becomes perfect. I'm glad you brought that up, So I would have forgotten. Really restrain yourself. Hold yourself back. It's very tempting. <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers.